Today is September 24th, and Pastor is saying to us, Worship Him anywhere, anytime. Our opening scripture comes from the book of Revelation, chapter 21, verse 22. And I saw no temple therein, for the Lord God Almighty and the Lamb are the temple of it. In the Old Testament, the Israelite worshiped God in the temple. But in the beautiful revelation of the New Jerusalem, the Apostle John gushes in admiration about how the city of God could exist without a temple. One would have expected to see a temple, just as it was in Old Testament days. But this New Jerusalem, however, doesn't need a temple because the entire city is the dwelling place of Almighty God and the Lamb. That's remarkable. In other words, His presence is everywhere in that city. The whole thing has become His temple. That brings to mind what Jesus said as He engaged a woman in Shikar, a Samaritan village. The woman had said, Our fathers worship on this mountain. And you Jews say that in Jerusalem is a place where one ought to worship. John chapter 4 verse 20 of the New King James Version. But then Jesus replied, The hour cometh, and now is, when the true worshiper shall worship the Father in spirit and in truth. For the Father seeketh such to worship him. John chapter 4 verse 23. Why? It's because in the spirit they experience the presence of God anywhere and everywhere. Today, everywhere you go, you carry His presence in you and with you. Now you can better understand the words of the Apostle Paul in Acts chapter 17, verse 28. For in Him we live and move and have our being. We are not apart or separate from Him. We don't seek or look for Him. We are in Him and with Him. And He's in us, with us and about us. Wherever you are. Wherever you go, you live and move in Him. This same apostle said in Romans chapter 1 verse 9, For God is my witness, whom I serve with my spirit in the gospel of His Son, that without ceasing I make mention of you always in my prayers. Can you see how Paul did it? He served God with his spirit in the gospel of His Son. The word serve actually refers to worship. That's why we can worship Him anywhere and at any time. This is different from the Old Testament where they had to go to the right place to offer the right sacrifice. If they didn't go to the right place, it was not accepted. In fact, when they set up a new temple in Samaria, God was angry because according to his instruction, the temple was only to be in Jerusalem. But in Christ Jesus, we worship God with our spirits. Hallelujah. Even now, Lift your hands in worship to the Lord and offer Him a sacrifice of sweet-smelling savour. From where you are, worship the Father from your spirit and according to His word. Please say this prayer with me. Dear Father, I worship and adore you today from my spirit. I adore you, everlasting King of glory, the only wise and true God, gracious and kind, holy and righteous, ever-loving and forgiving. I love you, Lord, and thank you for the blessings of the New Testament in Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. For further study, please read Philippians chapter 3, verse 3, and Hebrews chapter 13, verse 15 of the Amplified Classic. For the one-year Bible reading plan, please read Ephesians chapter 1, verses 15 to chapter 2, verses 1 to 10, and Isaiah chapters 13 to 14. For the two-year Bible reading plan, please read Luke chapter 24, verses 40 to 53, and 2 Samuel chapters 21 to 22. Rhapsody of reality.